Hi, Ellen. Today, well, I thought I'd show you some of my study techniques because I'm going back to school to better my life or whatever. And I thought I would show you something that might be helpful to your viewers. Um, I'm whispering because my youngest is sleeping. Um, but I have some study techniques that I think, you know, could help people. So today I'm in this really amazingly exciting class um, called Health Records Billing and Coding. Excuse me, <laughs> I fell asleep. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just, it's so exciting. I, I just can't even stay awake. So um, I'm going to explain to you how I learned about HIPAA. It's the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Okay, so H, if you know sign language, I, P, P, A, HIPAA. So you've got your H and your I. Hi, right? But health insurance. So it'd be like, hi, hi, I have health insurance. That's awesome. All right, so H I hi health insurance. P. Well, see, I like to think of it like hippo, hippo, health, health hippo, hippo, whatever. So you have a P, and that's portability. Yeah, portability. Um, you can't carry a hippo, so um, portability. So. There you have it. And, and, and accountability, accountability, I can't even say it. Accountability, you can't hold a hippo accountable. And act. Hippos can't act, can they? Not really. Not unless they have a really, really good trainer. So, um, so hippo or hippa, okay. H I, hi, health insurance, right? Po, P P O. Wait a minute. Uh, I think there's only. Oh, well, there's only one P, right? And it's portability because you can't carry the hippo, so it's health insurance portability. Oh, and a, a, two A's. That's what it is. It's like two A's instead of two P's and an O. So, health insurance. Portability and accountability act. It's, it's that easy. Hippo, HIPAA. It's like the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay. All right. Um, another class that I had been taking, I just I thought I'd share with you my, my really good study technique for that one. Um, it was um, Anatomy and Physiology 1 and two. I mean, I, by the way, I'm like magna cum laude at Sanford Brown Institute in medical assisting. So I just, <laughs> I, I don't like to brag. I really don't. I don't like to brag, but I, I have a 4.0 at Sanford Brown. You know, <laughs> just feels good. It feels good because I'm, I'm not, I'm over 40. I, I'm 40 plus one and another one. You know, so I got a four point. Anyway, anyway, I'd like to show my little my little friend. This is my son's puppet. I bought it at IKEA. He's gonna help me sing. Okay, he's gonna be my little demo. Oh, I just realized I have really bad roots, and this light is not helping. Anyway, okay, this is about um, a song about the erector spinae muscles. I don't really even know if I'm saying that right. A spinae. Spinet, I don't know, but whatever. I, I, who's really going to question me about that, right? They're going to talk to the doctor. I'm just like the medical assistant. I mean, I someday have hopes to do something bigger. But anyway, anyway, here. This is my friend here. We'll call him Fred. Fred. Or maybe, yeah, Fred. He looks like a Fred. Fred, okay, he's going to help me. Okay, 
<clears throat> this is a song. I wrote it. Well, I didn't write the song. It's it's to um, a song from a musical called Gypsy because, like, I was a theater major and, you know, whatever. It's really sad because I thought I'd be famous right now. And I'm 42 and I have three kids and I'm married and I'm stuck in Leetsdale, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to Sanford Brown. But I'm really, really positive, really positive about it, really. So that um, I made up this song and it's about the erector spinae muscle. So here we go. <clears throat> You can extend your column, laterally flex it to the same side, and you get three erector spinae, spinalis long and iliac. If you start with C7, ligamentum nuce, verts, upper lum, lower T, you are a spinalis inserting upper T and C. Longissimus insertion in the common tendon with upper five T verts. It inserts lower five lumbar vertebrae and in the mass process, iliacus talus inserts the common tendon posterior surface of ribs. Numbers one through twelve, where it also begins. Okay, that wasn't my best performance. You know, don't judge me or anything. I'm just, it's like 3.03 and I, it's been a long day. I've been up since five and I have a job and whatever. <laughs> whatever. Okay, let's talk about something else. Um, some other initials that I have to learn this week. NPP. That would be something about um, national probably and patience or privacy um privacy and pp Pri policy oh no i was right notice of privacy practices so n notice i will notice that so i noticed it that's what the n is not national that why would i think that and pra privacy and pra practices they're both pra so no pr pr right no pr pr that makes sense to me notice the privacy practices all right i'll i'll send you another video about just even better study techniques um you know i have i have a lot of them i do songs and 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 things with letters i don't know what that's called because well, I'm in school and I'm I'm still learning and I'm only 42. You know, I mean that's that's young. That's that, that's young. So, um, but uh, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, I just got to give up my wealthy lifestyle and go back to my roots. I don't know, whatever that means. So, um, I love you. You're the best. You motivate me. I watch you. My son dances. Oh, I got to videotape him dancing because. He's going to be famous. He's a looker. He really is. Um, you know, and my daughter, my oldest, she's going to college next year. So we'll both be studying together. <laughs> Never thought that would happen, ever. And I have a sixth grader. So middle school is just like the best time of your life. I mean, you know, right? I mean, that's just so much fun to deal with all that. And, you know, to do it on a budget of, like, $35,000 is just, like, glamorous almost. So, you know, it's really cool that, um, you know, I'm glad I'm going to school on the weekends, like, 8 to 6, Saturday and Sunday, um, you know. <laughs>